If your water use has suddenly gone up or if it has been gradually increasing, it may be time to do some detective work. This video will demonstrate how to check your pool system for leaks. It's important to note that leaks in your pool system may or may not be visible. To start, turn on your pool equipment and look for any visible leaks. Also look for white, crusty mineral deposits on pipes or on the ground which could indicate a slow leak. Look for dark wet spots on the ground, around the equipment, and between the equipment and the pool. If your pool system doesn't have any visible leaks, a bucket test can help determine if your pool system has a hidden leak. You can also do this test on spas, ponds, or other large water features. And you don't need a bucket. A plastic pitcher or a large container will work just fine. To do a bucket test, you want to make sure your pool is filled to its normal level. A normal pool level is typically defined as having the water level in the middle of the skimmer opening. During the test, do not use a hose to fill your pool. If you have an autofill, which means the pool fills automatically, you want to shut off its water supply. Your autofill also has a backflow device and is typically located on the side or the back of the house. The water supply to your pool is usually the first line out of the pool's backflow device. This is where the water supply shutoff valve is located. Turn the valve to the off position. Be aware, some shutoff devices could fail if they are old or corroded. Now you'll need a bucket and a wax pen or marker. Place your container somewhere in the pool, usually on a step, without submerging it. Fill the container with pool water so it's at the same level as the water in your pool. Mark the water level on both the inside and outside of the bucket. Remember, there's no splashing water out of the pool during the bucket test. Wait a minimum of two to three days. You may need a few more days in cooler temperatures. Please note that if it rains or there are excessive winds, you may have to start the test over. After two or three days, measure how far the water level has dropped inside and outside the bucket. If the water loss is only due to evaporation, the drop in water levels should measure the same for both the pool and the bucket. That's good news! This means it does not appear that your pool is leaking. If you have an autofill, remember to turn your water supply back on. If you measure a greater amount of water loss in the pool than in the bucket, then it appears you have a leak somewhere in your pool system. No matter where the leak is and if you are unable to find it or repair it, we recommend contacting a licensed professional pool service or your pool builder. Remember to let the service person know the steps you've taken to stop the leak. For more information on how to manage water efficiently, including more videos on indoor and outdoor water leak detection, visit Scottsdale Water Conservation's website or call 480-312-5650.